morning friends and welcome to Shekhar pre-market view. Indian markets yesterday continued their downward spiral uh, with Sensex taking a cut of 220 points and Nifty taking a cut of 70 points amid worries on the tax front. However, uh, in spite of clarification coming in from finance ministry, markets were uh, very weak. If you look at the broader market, they were more weaker than the headline indices with the Nifty Junior and the mid-cap indices going down by over uh, 2 percentage points. The queues from Wall Street, we don't have any queues yesterday because uh, most of the markets were closed uh, because of Christmas and the Boxing Day. Uh, currently, Asian markets are trading quite flat. SEX is indicating a positive start, uh, though only by 10 points. If you look at the flows from FIIs, they continue to be big sellers in the Indian markets, especially in the cash segment. They were seller to the tune of 1,095 crore yesterday. DIIs uh, pumped in positive uh, 1,065 crore in the cash market, whereas FIIs were very small buyers of 98 crore uh, in the index future. So overall, uh, net net, given that this is derivative expiry week uh, and uh, the overall sentiment uh, in the Indian markets aren't uh, quite good. Let's have a view from uh, our derivatives team as to how Nifty is likely to behave after opening on a flattish kind of a note. Good morning friends, welcome to Shere Khan Derivative Morning View. Uh, yesterday Nifty opened gap down amidst negative global queues. Benchmark indices saw selling pressure with volumes despite Christmas holiday. There was no respite across the sectors uh, we saw uh, selling in all the sectors like pharma, metals, etc. Equity benchmark indices extended further losses by 1% to close at 7914 levels. Nifty added 34.76 lakhs shares of open interest, indicating short built up in Nifty futures. Cost of carry also came down due to uh, the expiry nearing within the next couple of days. Put call ratio was down by massive 10% from 0.92 to 0.83 levels. India weights jumped sharply by around 10% from 15.13 to 16.6 levels. On option activity front, most active index call options were 8000 call option, 7900 call option and 8100 call option. We saw massive addition of call open interest in 8,000 call option by around 30% at 56 lakh shares. 7,900 call options also saw massive addition by around 281% at 28 lakh shares. Whereas 8,100 saw 10% addition of open interest at around 52 lakh shares. On the put index option front, 7,900 put options saw minor reduction of 1%. 7800 put options saw minor addition of 2%, two, 2%, whereas 8000 put options saw massive reduction in open interest by around 37% at 38 lakh shares. 8000 and 7900 call options seeing highest call writing, indicating markets are still in the bearish view. And we saw massive unwinding happening in 8000 put options. Securities in the band period are Bharat Financial, Jindal Steel and Wakhart Pharma. On FI activity front, index futures were net bias to the tune of 98 crores. Index options were bias of 956 crores. Stock futures were net bias by 76 crores, whereas stock options were net sellers by 48 crores. On market level front, Friday VWAP stands at 8020. Lower level stands at 7900 and higher levels remains at 8020 levels. SGX Nifty is indicating a positive start for today's trade with 11 points of gap up at 7922 levels. That's it. Have a wonderful trading day. Friends, let's look at trading ideas for the day. The first one being Glenmark Pharma. Now, Glenmark has received US FDA NOT for uh, trading NOID oral capsule. Now this is used to uh, treat uh, acne and leukemia. One can uh, trade uh, with a positive bias in Glenmark. The stop loss could be closer to 878 levels. The potential upside could be closer to 920 levels. Moving on to important news, NDPC has signed a 160 megawatt 
EPA with the Nepal Electricity Authority. Now uh, the NDEC total installed capacity rises to 48,028 uh, megawatt. in France Arm plans to raise close to 500 crore via NCD. SEBI has put in place disclosure norm for rates. Airfares have sold up by close to 65% due to the holiday season demand. Telecom Regulatory Authority of India has asked Reliance Geo to explain why the new offer is not violation of the overall norms. The free voice call and data plan should not be used under the Happy New Year plan uh, which the Reliance Geo is offering. FPIs may face up to 40% tax on Indian investment as per media reports. Railway is looking uh, to have its highest outlay of close to 1.35 lakh crore uh, in the current financial year. Ashok Leyland has received members not for amalgamation with Hinduja foundries. Uh, most of the two-wheeler manufacturers like Hero Moto, Bajaj Auto, TBS Motors are uh, planning uh, for maintenance sh shutdown. Future Enterprise uh, sells complete 16.09% stake uh, in Future Lifestyle to Future Corporate. MP Distilleries, uh, the board meet uh, has uh, withdrawn plans of sale of 1.95 crore shares in MP hotels. So some setback for that company. And uh, ITD Cementation, uh, the holders have approved giving loan of up to rupees 2500 crore to the company. Certain positive news on that front. And uh, in a major relief uh, for farmers uh, which have been hit by demonetization, the Reserve Bank today gave an uh, additional 60 days to repay their crop loans which were due uh, between November and December. And uh, they have also said that prompt repayment would be eligible for the extra 3% interest uh, subsidy. Moving on to advisory picks uh, that uh, we have uh, picked up, Suvain Life Science, Bajaj Holding, NBCC, Triveni Turbines and HCFC Bank. That's it friends, thank you.